Okay, so let's get things rocking and a rolling and a heating up in this gym. So let the inferno begin, or rather resume. So yeah, um, all you had to do here was um, now you can now push this border onto that one glass mirror sprite, and it should reveal this path up to you now. And we have one. I'm guessing this is one final block that we have to push this border on, so let's just see. Hopefully, I think we may be getting closer to where we're supposed to be going. Ah, uh, ah, 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 Now let's challenge you. See if you can counter my blazing moves. How blazing are they? Well, I guess we'll see. Wally, Wally from Leap to Beaver wants to battle. All right, Wally, how far have you grown up since you're since your troubled times with the cleavers. Well, I can see you have a trained pet dragon now, so that's, I guess, a step up. I mean, yeah, my Alvin is right now at level 37, so he is slightly caught up with the rest of the team. But pretty soon he might be um, back to second chair, who knows. Right now, though, I'm going to see if Spark is going to do anything. Will Sparks be flying in this heated match? I guess we'll see. Quote death to us. Uh, there we go. We have paralyzed it, that's for sure. And, yeah, that was kind of an interesting fire sound effect. Not really. So, now let us switch to Littlefoot. Because ground-type moves prove effective against fire-types as well, so... There's no need to have just... Solely a water type. But is it also a flying type? No, it's not! Does it go down in one hit, though? I guess, I guess we'll find out. Yep, it does! So, Chimacore, or Chimacore, or whatever goes down. Fire Oak again. Sure, why not? I mean, I know that. It's going to be equally effective, but it's still probably going to do... No, not not as much damage as I anticipated, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Nightshade was totally not very... It wasn't really that interesting. Not really interesting to look at. Alright, let's just try Dig. Hopefully Dig has better attacking, can probably hopefully take this Fire Oak down. Will burrowing underground do any more damage? Will it invoke any more damage than that last one? Mm, not exactly. Same effect. Ow. Well, luckily, I have plenty of potions for me to heal up my Pokemon, just in case if they run into any... run into any sticky molasses. Oh, uh -huh, and... Flager! Flager, Flager, Flager! No, I know you're gonna go down in one hit. I know uh, that is if I don't succumb to extreme speed. Now uh, that was kind of a close one. Okay, will you go down in one hit? One hit, please. One hit. One hit. KO. One hit. Quitter. Yes. Hooray! And I get nothing. Fire oak again. I will. Um. Now let's go to my ace. Whatever. I could have also went with my flying type too, but you know, my flying type is already caught up, so I really don't see the need of him being on the sideline. I, I'm, I mean, be, him being in the arena for that much amount of time. All right, that was rather easy. That was a rather easy fight. Thank you for the fight. Good game. Ouch! I burned myself. Uh oh. I guess that was your comeuppance, then. Your comeuppance, pants. I hear that skirts are all the rage and fashion now. Tico's a trendsetter, as usual. Yeah, I guess Tarzan is in style. Not really. Okay, so we have one more block puzzle, and then... Boom! Presto! We now get to challenge Mr. Tarzan himself. So, before I do anything else, let me save. Hopefully, I won't get abruptly interrupted. 
but I guess we'll find out. If you know what I mean by interrupted. Now let's see who is going to be first on my team here. Now then, you can kind of stay on the bench for right, for right now. While I, um... Hydrosaurus is pretty good right now. It's... I don't need to level him up, um... Even further for this fight. So, um, I'm gonna switch out to Littlefoot, and... I'll have Zoro and Hydrosaurus as my backup, so... Let's prepare for, a uh, Let's prepare for a very heated battle here. Something that's probably going to singe my hair. But anyway, hello, Obo. I cannot thank you enough for bailing me out in the Anthel. That could have been a very unpleasant situation for all of us. Yeah, it could have been. I mean, especially be since we were trapped down two holes underground. I regret that I couldn't be at my full strength then. But now I'm ready to accept your challenge. A battle is like a dance. Hmm, is it? Don't tell me this is just words of wisdom here. Just as a dancer must be in time with the music, so too must a trainer be synchronized with her... Music and battling are kind of different things. He shows great strength in facing down second mater. Now I, Tico, the master dancer, will test your metal. So do I have what it takes to put my power, put my pedal to the metal here? I, oh, you look like a young Stevie Wonder. Okay. I like those cornrows. Oh, shit. Wrong Pokemon for this. So guess what? I will be switching out to my Elven. Yeah, I guess I must be using my ground type immediately. Yeah, not much damage. However, one shock will probably get rid of its wings right away. Let's see. Will we be able to just displace Palesia's wings by just one hit? Maybe or maybe... Nope, two hits. Okay. Air Slash hopefully doesn't do a devastating amount. Not a whole lot, but it still is kind of... Kind of not, you know, anything to sneeze at. There we go. One down, three to go, or four to go? I think it's three. Fire Oak, Hydrosaurus time. Let's go. Actually, uh, Will Lodafoot solo this gym? I guess we'll soon find out. Because he'll be at the forefront until he faints. Come on, do you have what it takes to fight the, fight the lions in the arena, Littlefoot? Do you have what it takes? Do you have what it takes to be brave? To be a Gryffindor? To not be a Slytherin? I don't know. Dig! Have you dug all your way to China here? No, more like Mongolia. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, though, Littlefoot has pretty good defense. That I am absolutely proud of. Now we dig to China. That was more like Tibet. Come on. Come on, Trillard. Okay, hey, gu hey guess what? <laughs> Prox. You! Yeah, I should have seen that coming. But why Hyper Potions? Why so early in the game? I, well, I mean, it's not very early right now, but it's still the fifth gym. Surely you would still use hyper. You would still use super potions. Oh, I don't know. Mm, game logic. Who can figure it out? Hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Let's actually charge up my computer while I do this. Because my computer was slowly running out of life. Yeah, it was at 37%. My god. Ow. Well, so much for that. Um, and you put up a good fight, though. Um, now let me revive you. That is, if I do still have any revives on me. Should I? Yeah, I have two revives, so let's use one of them very wisely here. So I don't get my ass handed to me next time around. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess Five Rogue is your best friend or something. What the hell? Well, either way, you're gonna be singed. You're gonna be. You're gonna be completely annihilated by Scald. It won't probably make it this turn, but. Or maybe, yeah. You'll be totally annihilated. Uh, well, that's what you get for using two, wasting two hyper potions. Chimaconda, uh, not Chupacabra, but Chimiconda, Chimichanga. Let me at him! Let me at him! Let me at him! This Chimichanga friend. Oh wait, not friend, but foe. Oh, this must be evol the evolved form of that um one other cat, that one other fire cat. And you are a Chimiconda. And you look very menacing. Oh no. Please don't. Don't kill me. Please don't. Ouch. I mean, it didn't really make me faint, but yeah, that was. That was still. Again, nothing to sneeze at. That was kind of. Kind of jaw. Jaw dropping. Oh my god, what on earth? Yeah, I forgot he had an, an ability. Hmm. For a second there. Uh, no, not quite. Uh, let me actually, yeah, she can play at this game. I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna use a hyper potion of my own. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna use. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna catch this Pokemon. I'm not gonna be a thief. But anyway, as I was saying, she can play at this game. Nice slash. Ouch. Maybe not. Maybe he's... Yeah, okay. Still quite, amount, quite an amount of damage, but... I think I've gotten this down to a science here. Like that. Oh, that was a really loud sustained cry. Wow, Littlefoot probably goes up at one level. And Payjay will be my payday. Ah, uh, I don't think so. I don't. I think this is the evolved form of Pelage. Maybe. Ouch. Yeah, it doesn't affect her. Yeah. So let me let me go to the Pokemon where you least suspect here, or excuse me, the Pokemon that you least suspect. Not where, but that. Again, poor usage of words. Hmm. Oh, you're still going down. <laughs> you're still going down after one. Ah! Please don't finish me. Ah! You dick. Well, time to go. My, go to my ace then. I could have had a bird fight, but no. I'm gonna have the satisfaction of seeing you squawk the hell out from Skull here. Let's just see. Come on, is it torture? Is it going to be torture? Yes, it's going to be torture. Jazz hands annihilation. And Inflagita. Incognito, I imagine. Let's see how you fare against this final dance move. Uh, probably not, not very overwhelming here. Yay for stream speed. However, you even if you pulled off your final dance move, I think you're going to be dancing no more after I'm through with you. Yeah, like that. The Inflagita is now no more of a cheetah. I brought it back down to the level of a cheetah. And rain oh. Hmm, should I bother with rain dance? Ugh, decisions, decisions. I mean, it is pretty speedy anyway, so... You know, why not? Let's go with Rain Dance. And that was it. That was the fight against Tico. A little bit underwhelming, but still, that was kind of a fascinating fight. Marvelous! Those moves were simply stunning! 
And I still like your cornrows. I dig those cornrows, man. Oh, I totally dig it. I, I dig it, brother. A blazing battle. My eyes are still watering. Here you go. You're, yeah, yeah, no pun intended. You earned it well. Salsa badge. Nice. Do I also get a bowl of salsa? Do I get some chips along with that? My salsa badge... No? Will allow the use of surf outside of bat... Okay, cool. It also makes your Pokemon more fabulous. Here, take this TM as well. What do you mean by fabulous? I mean, is that just sort of a euphemism for it's going to totally annihilate everything in its path? Is it just going to be like total scorched earth policy? That TM contains overheat. It's enormously... What you didn't really manage to show off. It's an enormously powerful fire attack that leaves a user a little burned out. Use it wisely. Use bombs wisely! Oh, yeah, do you have any parting words for me? I don't say that to anyone, but my true wish is that the, this town gets destroyed or something. These are just... Then why are you living in this town, then? You and Sheldon, I mean... Are you guys really just that overly arrogant about just nature? Like, what's going on? Hello, hello! <laughs> no parting words for you, so I will gladly... Mock and ignore you. And you didn't even give me a fresh water either, so that's kind of a shame. But yeah, that's that's that, guys. That was kind of an interesting fight. So now what I could do, get to do is go back inside this very primitive Pokemon Center. Again, I'm not going to stop using the word primitive, because that's what you guys are, is simply primitive. And I'm going to be um, heading to my next destination, I think. I'm not exactly sure where that's going to be, though, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. So, stay tuned for the next upcoming episode of Pokemon Uranium. Where will the next gym town be? Where am I supposed to go? I guess we will soon find out. Next time, next week, same channel.